All right, guys, today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna go check out a place that isn't really around anymore, but they have a few locations left and I found one not super far from me. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to make this into a series. I don't know how much of a series I can really make it into because of limitations. Um, and I don't really have a name yet. So, I guess we could call this a dying breed? Let's try that. Let's go with, welcome to a dying breed. Alright, so here's the deal. We at the spot. You just saw what it is. We at Quiznos. I checked online. The only thing I can find is it says there's less than 800 of these in the US. So today, me and Sweet Tea. What's up, what's up? We about to go check out Quiznos. It's been a long, long time since I had Quiznos. Probably, I mean, it's probably bordering on a decade at this point. Um, this place used to be all over. And we just had to drive 45 minutes to find the closest one. So, you ready? We will see. Let's go. All right. Still got some deals though. That right there used to be the best of rock and cheese. That's what I like. I'm gonna get that old school steakhouse. Really like that. John got me up in here and quit. Got a full bowl of soup. I got a salmon. Some loaded tater tots. Um, this is new food at a time. Soup. I'll pray for Pray for tea. I will say though, back in the day, uh, their broccoli cheddar soup was the best. I liked it better, but I liked uh, theirs, broccoli cheddar. And their soup came from the same place. And their soup came from the same bag, yep. It's right here. Look at that cheesy, gooey. Look at it, all oh, loaded tots. Mm -hmm. Loaded tots. I will say, I think there's only what, 800 of them left? Less than 800. So I think I know why there's less than 800. And out of those less than 800 that's on, I guarantee you 100% of them are privately owned. Yeah, I don't know what the mix of like corporate to like franchised are. I think most of the corporate locations are gone, I believe. Yeah. So somebody's just making a killing. Well, not making a killing, but getting paid for licensing. Yeah, you'd probably make way more money if you afforded to just buy out the license and just use your own stuff. Call it your own place. At least then it wouldn't have like the Quiznos moniker on it, which sets like a certain expectation, you know? So I'm pretty sure they get a discount on the food. The biggest thing that I noticed, they don't have the, uh, the drink fountain that they used to have. They used to have like a raspberry lemonade drink fountain, so now you just gotta get your drink out of the little bar there. Uh, it's in a gas station. And I got the uh, Black Angus Steakhouse. 
was supposed to have uh, cheddar cheese and mozzarella, but uh, they didn't have no cheddar cheese at the time. And then supposedly it's got some mushrooms. Yep, there's some mushrooms. Okay. Got these Miss Vicky's chips. That's a Michigan staple, Miss Vicky's. And then uh, the broccoli cheddar soup that they had to warm up in the microwave because they didn't have it uh, fresh made. <laughs> Tea got some chicken enchilada soup. Chicken tortellini soup. Chicken tortellini soup. Some loaded, loaded tater tots. tots. And uh, uh, got and a chicken sammy. Sammy and a steak angus sammy. And a steak angus sammy. All right, we're going we gonna to try this. And it's um, nothing like I remember. Final thoughts on Quiznos. Um, there's probably a reason that company is going out of business. I watched a video a while back from a guy named Company Man. I'll leave the link down in the description. He did a really good breakdown on why Quiznos is going away. Uh, would I go back to Quiznos? Not that one. Food tasted fine. There wasn't anything wrong. It's just you can tell you can tell the quality isn't the same as what it used to be. What you think? So after I just got done devouring a couple bags of candy to kind of get you the taste didn't out have of my a couple mouth. bags. You uh, you had maybe half a bag. <laughs> um, it was my first time ever going to Quiznos. My first time ever having it. Um, I got some surprising results. First of all, I had the chicken tortellini soup. First of all, none of the soup was warm. I will, will say that. Microwave. But I will <laughs> say, I'm not real big on hot soup, which probably sounds like a Nazi moron. Um, the, the soup was room temperature, but the soup tasted. It had a nice taste. So I would assume if it was piping hot, it would probably be something that people that like hot shit would love. Um, the Sammy that I had, the bacon, the, the chicken mesquite, uh, I would give a 10. The steak and cheddar, I would give a 2 because there was no cheddar. Um, because the person that was helping us was 17 and she wasn't old enough to work the slicer. Overall, if, if I had to go back, I would say as far as toasted subs go, um, it's the best hands down, which is scary considering who's the competition? Subway? I don't know. Subway, but, Jersey, Jersey Mike's in our area. Overall, I liked it. I just don't like the the after effects, which I'm kind of feeling right now. So that's why you, you're kind of getting a driving review because um, I got a meeting with my bathroom and the toilet seat. You get Hi, so I would, uh, I'd give Quiznos, back in the day, I'd give Quiznos a 10 out of 10 all day. Everything is great. The one thing that I like that they really do, that they still do, it's just everything and it's probably just the location. Because from what I remember, like the ovens were bigger, everything was on a much bigger scale. Um, but I would say the fact that they like dip their meat in the juice and they let it sit in there before they cook it so things don't dry out that's huge you go to subway and you get a toasted sub and and things dry out a lot but they let the the steak soak in the au jus they let the the chicken soak in whatever the chicken juice au jus is they didn't have cheddar because the the manager came in like as we were paying for our stuff and she was the only one that could slice stuff. The girl that was working there was doing what she could. I mean, I don't put any fault on her. There's a reason that Quiznos used to have 5,000 locations. And honestly, if I were to look at the map, like the map of the U.S., I could only count like maybe 100 on there. But it says there's less than 800 as of last year. And I would bet that it's probably less than 500 this year. It's a good experience if you ever get a chance to try it in a good location. I think Quiznos is definitely the best of the sub places. So uh, if you're in the area, check it out. But uh, don't go out of your way to go get it. It's not worth that. And we out.